This is Scott Ryan, and today I'll be reviewing another burned aluminum wiring connection either I or my electricians found recently. Before that, I invite you to my web seminar that will cover three vital points you need to know so you can sleep at night knowing you fixed this problem in your home correctly, permanently, and affordably. Access this webinar now at AluminumWiringRepair.com. Okay, I want to show you some of the outlets that we've pulled out of uh, some of the homes right here in Calgary. Uh, just to prove to you that indeed these things do exist. Now this one here I've featured before and I will be going into a little bit more detail on in the video uh, in, a, in a later video but I just wanted you to see it here right now. This is exactly how it was seen in the home and you can see the burning here and then of course you can see here this is black here this is very bad this is burned charred anytime you see that charring it means that there was actual flames it was hot burning and then of course here's the inside so this is the feature one that we use in all the pictures that we have and you can see this is very badly burned and you can see the silver here the aluminum wiring okay so that's one of them here's another one that a client of ours pulled out of their wall before we went to go do the audit on their home this one was found in the um, dining room it almost he said it almost set his curtains on fire but you can see there's obviously a black around here and around here. All of the metal is, all the plastic is gone from around the side here and charred in here as well. Here's another one. Um, well on its way, you can see a bubbling happening. We see different reactions, different ways that these things appear to be burning. But uh, again, these are caused by loose. This one isn't loose at the moment, so. I'm, uh, but you can tell here that there's some bad burning going on here. And this was melting here on the other side. But this one's okay, and that one's okay. It doesn't show any evidence of melting or charring. This one might have a little bit of heat buildup in it. You can see just a little bit of brown along the ridge there of the insulation. Here's another uh, grotesque looking particular one that was burnt. Um, looks like leprosy, doesn't it? And uh, the other side, perfectly fine. So again, doesn't mean that all connections are going to be burning, but certainly uh, one is all that it takes. But this one here has two on it, and as you've noticed, most of them have the two on there. Here's another one. Uh, this was taken out of a kitchen. Again, bad charring going on. You can see the aluminum wire here. This was melted, and then actually it either uh, fell off from being dry and brittle, or it melted off. Here's another one, very badly here. So both sides we're burning severely here and you can see also inside here and also on this side and as we are going to talk about there needs only be one connection that goes bad in your house there's three on this particular outlet let's see if we got any more here's one from a kitchen this one's a Mickey Mouse <laughs> or I should say amateur installation we pulled this one out of a kitchen and they did a really bad job of uh, bringing the wiring underneath the screws but again this isn't even an aluminum rated outlet okay and you shouldn't be using aluminum rated anyway but they didn't even make that effort so we don't know if this is it's amateur hour we don't know if an electrician did this it I would hope that an electrician didn't do this this is very very bad you, again you can see the charring happening on the plastic down underneath that screw there um, this one here Again, and another one here, badly set up, and you can see it's melting, burned quite bad. Uh, another one, yet another one here. And folks, we have dozens of these things, dozens of them. So this one here, this is the arcing going on in here, causing the heat buildup and the melting. And again, again, the charring you can see along here. And then on this side, you can see, it looks like arcing happening on the outside. So that means that it had nothing to do with the aluminum, but it looked like it was arcing to the metal in the box. So it's a bad installation all around for that one. This one here, I'm going to show this one just because it is aluminum. But this was installed by an amateur electrician. And you can see here, hopefully you can see here, um, it looks like there's arcing happening on the outside of the screw. This is copper. This is a copper installation. And this is the end of a particular circuit because you can see there's only two wires. And you can see also, just for quality control here, uh, they had, they just sliced it off. It isn't even a nice, neat 
cutting of the uh, insulation off the wire. But here's the other interesting part here. You can see here, this is a, a bad connection that held it directly to the box. And it was arcing, as you can see, and it actually melts the steel in there. So even they don't even have to be aluminum wire where there, where there can be troubles, but the trouble with the aluminum wire is that this happens far more often and far quicker than copper wire. For more information about this topic, visit the links in the description below. Also, if you could please like this video and subscribe to this channel, we would really appreciate it as it helps us get this message out to people who desperately need it. This is Scott Ryan. Thank you so much.